Chris Fisher's here. He's the founder of the of the uh, Research Foundation. Uh, what is it? It's called the O Search Research Foundation. Chris, thanks for coming. Sh should we East Coasters be worried about this, or is this just sort of normal? Thanks for having me, Shep. Happy Father's Day. Um, this is totally normal. This is the season and the time of year where sharks are moving north. There's really two big events happening in the New York, New Jersey bite in that particular area. Number one, big females are coming in this time of year to drop off their pups and give birth. And then those females will leave. And then we have our sub-adult animals, so, you know, smaller uh, females and males that are migrating north uh, to go up for summer feeding aggregations off the northeastern United States, as well as Atlantic Canada. So those two things combined are very normal. It happens every year. You know, we've solved and I've solved most of the puzzle of the white shark's life off the East Coast. So it's good to know what they're doing. It's a special place there. A lot of baby white sharks like the one that were caught in the video. Those fishermen did the right thing. They just shook it off as quick as they could. The shark will be fine. Uh, but it's a it's a real time to celebrate the return to abundance of the East Coast of the United States. And along with that comes the apex predator, yeah. our great white shark, and it's a great sign for the future. We were worried about him for a while, and I got to tell you, I was watching watching your tracker, the one you're tracking off Long Island. It's just below Shinnecock Bay, so sort of between Hampton Bays and South Southampton. How, how, how close do those get? I mean, do, do they come right up there where we swim or no? Yes, we're all swimming with white sharks all the time. They come right up to the beach. It's really all about what's going on in the area. There's a tremendous amount of menhaden. People call them bunker up there, a lot of bait. And the whales are coming in on that. The white sharks are dropping off their pups underneath that. So when you see that bait crowding against the beach, there's white sharks on that. So you want to just take a look at the system and know the ocean. And if you see a lot of life, you don't want to swim out in the middle of that. Find a quieter section of the beach. Yep. Yeah, you know, some people, they, they just look for the red flag for, a, you know, an undertow or a cross current or whatever. But if you see a bunch of fish all swimming together right off, the, right off you, you don't let your kids in the water then, no matter what flag is flying, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, you wouldn't let your kid walk into the forest if you're watching the mountain lions feed on the deer and elk, <laughs> right? So, no. you know, when you're, at the when you're at the beach, you know, and you're looking out in the ocean and the birds are crashing on bait and the stripers are crashing on the bait, seals are on that, the white shark is going to be there. And so you either want to sit back and watch it because it's stunningly amazing to watch. Or, and if you want to go swimming, you just move down the beach to a quieter section of the beach and enjoy the ocean with your family, like you said. Make sure you know how to swim and identify a rip current. Now, that is a real threat. White sharks are not. This is, this is something to celebrate. Our kids are going to see an ocean full of fish because the East Coast is returning to abundance, and this is just part of that trend. Yeah, it's fantastic. Man, I, I, the, the tracker is, I don't know, for me, I can get it, you know, just get stuck on the thing. You can, you can Google that if you want. It's the O-Search Research Foundation and a quick Google search, and you can see them tracking live sharks out there. It's very cool. Chris, have a great Father's Day. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.